From the last lesson, we have a very valuable info, the cash flow impact per payment term. In this video, we will do our last calculation, promised. We will use the note you already know, the group by note. Okay, let's have a look at the rows. Still way too much to handle for a single person. Could you deal with 50 plus payment term improvement negotiations besides your day job and your other negotiation and reporting issues you have? If yes, congrats, you're obviously the Harry Potter of procurement or maybe the Voldemort. Um. But I digress. We need to consolidate the cash flow impacts now on a vendor level to find out where it makes the most sense to approach a vendor. We will do that by using something you already know. And if you now said Excel pivot tables, well... Of course I am talking about the group buy note. You know this one already from one of the last lessons. I assume you have watched that lesson. If not, I have linked it up um, here or, or here or somewhere. So this is what we want to create. So let's just quickly switch over to Nime and I show you how to do it. Okay, here we are where we last left off in the last lesson. And once again, we need to find a group by note. So let's just have a look how we can find it. As always, we go into the repository. Oops, no, we say group. Oh, not group with G R O O, but G R O U P. There it is. We select the math formula from last lesson, double click to edit, and then we label it, call it um, CF improvement by vendor. Okay. And now we open up the config window by pressing F6 once again. And as the label already said it, we want to use the vendor in the group sections or in the group columns, whereas we want to sum the cash flow impact, the sum of the cash flow impact per vendor here. And this time we're going to use the column naming um, option keep original. Name. So you see here from the last group by note, sum of PO value and first of PMT days um, was a different setting. But this time we want to have the resulting table bearing the same column headings because that makes it easier in the next step to work with them. All right. So let's execute by pressing F7. Here we are. And just have a look at the group table. All right. There we are. We have now limited our data set which we had which had round about a thousand rows originally and came from three different tables now to the number of 14 14 items this now also with the priority which comes in the next video is manageable just imagine where we came from we had a thousand rows of enriched po data now we have 14 vendors to focus on or even less. That's an awesome achievement. Cool, right? So one question to you guys. Are these videos too short or are they too long or just right? That is important for me to understand so I can better tailor them to your needs. Let me know in the comments below and you know how to join and evaluate data now. Do calculations based on it and finally condensate the core info out of it. So there's just one more step we need to do next time. We will sort them by cash flow impact. Once again, let me know if you like the lengths of these videos or if you should go into more detail. Oh, and don't forget to like and subscribe somewhere there. So, see you in the next video. 
If you want to go to the first part of this online course, click this video. And here is just another video that shows you some very funny stuff you can do with Nime. Oh, and if you want to download the resources and chat with fellow students, just go here to this page over at procurementzen.com.